guys um just wanted to come on face to face and thank you so much for joining me on my vintage art journal journey i finally completed the quarter flag vintage art journal and i'm going to do a special reveal for you in a minute but i just want to thank you for watching all my tutorials as well as just the videos journal with me videos so you've seen how i started this journal from beginning to end and i just want to thank you so much i mean you guys supporting me coming on and watching me do these videos means a lot to me and i'm very thankful um i really want to see the journals that you guys created so if you um can share them in the comments with a little picture that would be fantastic and then everybody can see it or you can pop on to my facebook page um under the guild i founded uh ag artisans guild and the facebook uh group is called collaborating through art you're more than welcome to share your images of the journals you've created with me there and any comments that you'd like to share and also as a thank you if you haven't already go visit my website www.evetsaintamon.com and um, when you visit my website there's a little pop-up there for a free piece of artwork uh, and all you have to do is give me your email address. I promise I won't spam you. Might send you emails here and there just letting you know kind of what's going on. But um, I will give you a free downloadable piece of art that you can use in your art journals. And it'll come very handy with the journals coming up. So again, I want to thank you. I'm going to get right to the reveal. And I can't wait to show you the completed journal. Let's take a look. And here we are, the reveal of the completed quarter flat vintage art journal. Um, just want to show you all the little goodies because I, I actually, oh, one thing I was going to do is I'm just going to add a little finishing touch here to my journal. Um, these little tags on the end, one thing that I love doing is just adding, um, little charms beads whatever there is and on this one because it is a vintage journal I got this cute little um, vintage key charm that I'm just gonna attach and I'm gonna let these strings just hang what a nice little addition to completing that and this is why I love to put all these cute little pockets and stuff in there because you can even stick keys in there. But even here in this little pocket, this little pouch that um, I just wanted to go through and show you the little embellishments that I made. I made this little pouch and I literally just um, clipped one of these little vintage, uh, they're almost like hairpins in it. And I have embellished this little um, sack that's made out of uh, burlap, a little burl mini burlap sack. And I adorned it with a little um, bumblebee here and I added some fringe with ribbon and I simply just slipped it on to the cover. And I'll make, I, you know, in my tutorials, I did make a whole bunch of these little embellishments that you can just add on the end and clip on. This was um, a little embellishment that I made out of an old paint stir stick. And it just has the words, let love grow. And I added a little flower on the top and it fits right into the little pocket. And I love how it just sticks out because I like things sticking out of my journals. I mean, who doesn't, right? It's so fun. Uh, and then I've got a little paper flower there with a little vintage button embellishment. And then on the first page here, we've got um, some homemade tags that I made and we did some collaging and I've left lots of room for um, embellishing. And here is the pin that is left 
from the back and you can use that just to stick in, you know, little tags or I just happen to have this on there. So I'll just stick it there so you can see, but it's just another nice little way of shoving something in. Over here, we've got a little flip tag and you can write a message on it. Another little pocket for sticking all kinds of goodies. I just kind of stuck a feather in there and I embellished it with um, uh, some lace ribbon and some of my, oh, this isn't my homemade stamp, this is a store-bought stamp. You will see homemade stamps and washi tapes. And this is just a library pocket that I made. And then moving on to the next page, we've got another little embellishment that I made here um, from one of those cutouts in the craft paper. And I've just uh, embellished it and adorned it up. I put another little vintage clip here on the flip tab. You can write little messages, clip whatever you, I like having these in my journal because you can, you know, you got little notes or little messages or something. You can just kind of stick them in there if you don't, you don't want to glue them. Um, another little page I adorned over here with some lace and I left some fringe hanging over the edge for another added little component and just lots of layering, lots of collaging and I've got some space to write messages. This is um, a photocopy just on plain white paper that I um, vintaged up with some inks and pens and if you go over and watch my tutorials over on Patreon. You'll see how I did that. Moving on to the next page. I've used some of my um, custom stamps on canvas here and I just glued the fabric in. I adorned it with a little paper um, flower and I just have some layering paper, washi tapes. Over here I made a little tag and I just attached it with a brad so that you can spin it around. You can have it hanging over the edge here or at the bottom. Um, it's just a fun little way of adding texture. Woo, what happened here? We got all fuzzy. And um, yeah, another little feather. I love feathers. Here we added a tassel with one of my uh, vintage collaborated stickers that I created with my good friend Robin McClendon who's also an artist and you'll find her on Instagram at Rare Birds and also over um, on her YouTube channel at Robin McClendon and we have these custom um, uh, stickers we have a whole bunch of different collections there over on our guild at agartisansguild.com uh, you can purchase the downloads there for a couple dollars and those are really fun uh, I've got a little flip here this is the stamp again I've used some masking tape just to write a little message and then I've got little areas here I can write more content in Put a big paper flower. I left this page pretty simple. I didn't do too much to it because I thought, you know, there's an image behind. I just added a little, little bit of something, but you know, you can always attach little notes or whatnot. So every page is a little bit different. And then here we've got, I made another little pocket, library pocket, but I made it very rustic um, just with some torn papers. And this is another photocopy that I just vintaged up and I made this butterfly tag, attached it with a brad and it just fits right into the pocket there. It's kind of cute. Oh no, this isn't a photocopy. This is actually from a book. Hidden places. Torn book page. Okay, and then over here, again, just a lot of collaging techniques um, with uh, different techniques I share in my videos, layering and adding little, you know, images of butterflies. It's my butterfly page. Then we're moving over here. This is just a clip on. I've made several of these, so they can be. I actually made it from um, an old ribbon spool. I just ripped the top off and did some embellishing there. Again, go on my videos, you'll see, but you can clip those on any pages. So I kind of like those because I can go back after and just add a little more embellishments. And I made this one with a tassel and I've got a little 
um, dragonfly charm there and I've just collected a bunch of little goodies this is one of my favorite things they're just little flip outs and every one I did I put um, something that I could write on the inside and in between each one I just put these little ribbons and I just used washi tape to attach it and they just flip right over and then over here we have another little note and a little these are my custom stamps um this is my little buddha head and my little buddha hand uh so yeah i also have a video over on youtube if you want to see how to make your custom stamps so you can create your own like i did this is the middle of the book and we have some interesting things happening here this was a nice little um, stencil that I added over top of some collage and stamps. And then I made this little embellishment, which is just a little um, fold down book. And you can add, you know, messages or little pictures, whatever it is in there. And it does close right up. Um, if you just take the tab underneath the, whoops, a little flower there I'll do this one flat because I've got and there is an accordion fold out in the middle which I'll show you in a second oh there was something that I was gonna put here and I don't know where my embellishment is because I did not put it in the book so I am missing an embellishment it is somewhere in my oh, let's see hang on I think I might have it in my Tinker Journal. So I just want to see if it's in there because I did mean to put it back in the book at the end. And for some reason, it's just kind of disappeared. So ah, I'll put something there eventually. It'll pop up, I'm sure. It's just funny how things just disappear. Um, so... Let me just fold that up, put that away, and I can get on with this reveal. So there was a little cute little tag that I had made that I had in here, and um, I did clean up my desk and I didn't come across it, so I'm sure I will find it somewhere on the floor or in another room. Uh, so let's just continue on with it. I made a little um, pocket here. It's a little shallow pocket with a little um, box ticket stub in there, which is really cute. Add a little bit of ribbon, some more endorments. And then here is the pop-out, which is such a neat component of this book. This little washi tape doesn't want to stay. I'm going to add a little glue because I've been fighting with this guy for a couple days now. Okay. You are getting glued in. So there you go. So I have this accordion pop out in the middle. I have to move the book out this way. Okay, and there's little embellishments. Um, when it's folded up, it just looks like an additional little book inside. You can flip through like this. It's got love this little pop-out book and then on the back we've got the little um it's a postcard that i photocopied i vintaged up and then i just added a little pearl but it's really cute because you can just kind of go through it like a book or you can spread it like i did a minute ago all the way out see all the images i have this cute little tag in here that you just undo the bow and you can have I put a little piece of paper there as a sample but you can leave a little message there and then tie it up just adds for a fun little um surprise within the book and uh like opening a little present at Christmas you know it's like hey what's under there <laughs> and then when you flip it over this way then we've got um, some more embellishments, a little hope, and I created this little tag that pops up over the top. And I just added, you know, a couple of flowers here. You can add a little note here. And the 
on this side it's another little embellishment I made with a sticker a little perfume bottle and I just adorned it with a little bit of lace so but this was a really neat thing here is this little um, tab that ends up being at the top so that's the center of the book and then as we may move on we've got another embellishment that I made in one of my videos using fabric and these little sticker buttons which is really cute I've also have a little um, tulle flower and then here I've got a variety of little um, pop-out books that I made and I just attach and they're ready to you know put little messages in I've got one that flips up another one that flips up and then what I've done here is I just attach some ribbon kind of like a little tassel hanging down and then I knew all the little goodies would just be hanging out the bottom of the book which is really fun and then moving forward I've got the little pages here um, to honor my kids I've got a little boy Peyton so the P is for Peyton and little girl Sierra S is for Sierra so I had to stick them in my little vintage journal and I've just made special little embellishments for each of them and attach you know some fun little string hanging down to make it all neat and I found these cute little embellishments at Tuesday morning that I had to stick on there it's like a little um, wax seal and then add a little button for my daughter and then these cool little um, uh, film strip uh, I, they call it tape but it's not tape you gotta glue it in but these are some really neat stuff that I've been finding um, I've got another pocket here I never did put anything inside of it uh, which I will but I this page if you followed me I was just showing you techniques on how to use store-bought stickers and we used a lot of those on this page so this is like my collage page using store-bought stickers and store-bought like um, papers and tags and all that kind of stuff so I made another flip up here I used some of my um, uh, custom stamps on this page too some more stickers so this is one of my stamps is the little bird cage and then I showed you how to kind of vintage up again um, store-bought labels and stickers that kind of thing so that was fun and then there's lots of space where you can write notes and you can even put a little picture in here I thought that would be kind of cute and then now this um, is an embellishment that I made and it's simply just attached with a paper clip so this was just a full page craft paper page and I added a strip so I didn't want to do too much to it but I thought it'd be perfect for just clipping on one of my embellishments and that's why I like to do these little clip bonds is you know if I don't want to do permanent stuff on pages I can just kind of clip these on and it adds for you know a nice little piece of art within the book and it's got lots of textures too I mean I did, gotta add tassels I mean I love tassels this was um, it's not a stamp but I just used fabric paint to do a shell these are all little things that I have in my tinker journal they're already pre-made so when I'm journaling I could just pull them out um, and then here we have a little pull out uh, folder with a tag you can put you know a little message in here if you want and I just added again this was part of my embellishment video where I showed you how to create these just adding you know some tool and ribbon I've uh, got some pearl stickers here I made this little button in the middle and the flower and we added you know, a little picket fence this was a neat little different little element made out of wood too that I wanted to show you how to do and then moving along we've got um, a simple collage page with some stamping and some um, image transfers that I did on some distressed paper that I made in another one of my tutorials 
And then this was another little embellishment that I created with a paper clip so we can just clip it right onto um, the paper and it's got some tool and a little paper flower and some fun little goodies and that can just clip on any little page and then over here I've done another little library pocket but on the side put a little message I did a little bit of um, stamping with my custom stamps here the ferns just added another little flower embellishment that just slides right in and then moving on to the last page we've got another embellishment that I made using you know all those tags that you get your craft supplies in um, yeah I showed I did a little tutorial on how you can take those and create new tags out of them and this is one of my favorites so I had this little mason jar and I literally just attached a string and this is a little um, scissor uh, uh, charm that I attached to it it's so cute and I just popped that on there of course I made this and I've got some doilies in the background just had a little dimension and some of my custom stamps and then on the last page I've taken store-bought um, embellishments and I've literally distressed them a little bit more um, I made this tag and it flips open and you've got space to write messages and then I made this little embellishment that can turn out to the side if you want or up but at least you can see all the nice collaging that I did on the back and everything is just you know taking pieces of um, scrap paper and embellishments that's just the back of the book and literally you know repurposing and just you know making it a little more exciting so that is my vintage art journal it's now complete we're ready to move on to the next project I just want to show you how thick this baby is we made we made this book from scratch there is a tutorial on um, my patreon so that uh, you can see how to make this quarter flat journal and it only takes seven pages of craft paper and you end up having a book actually with 14 um, pages to a scrapbook in and it's just a cute little six by six journal we're going to be making so many more of these and i really really hope you enjoyed watching my tutorials and my journal with me videos and i'm very excited that i've completed this one and i'm moving on to my next one which is the boho beach journal so i hope you guys join me and thanks again for watching. Bye guys. Happy journaling.